There's no water left. You ever walk up and I just took a shake and I'm like, oh, sorry, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. What's up, yo? This is Necopasto and welcome back to DDLC. I'm here with Kieran. Hello. We've literally just finished, like, we're recording in bulk. So th that's the good thing about recording these shorter episodes. Like, you get you get, you get more done. You get a few of them out. You've still got a little bit of energy left. You don't burn down. But yeah, where we left off, Natsuki and Yuri had a huge bitch ass fight. I wasn't the one whose moves magically grew a size bigger as soon as Eat My Ass started showing up. I'm just like, oh my god. Time and place. Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! Bib size oh, that's was that's discussed. Bad. Yeah, it was really bad. But yeah, they made. Well, you know. Sayuri kind of got them to make up, and yeah, we're we're fine. You know, everything's like, okay. Yeah, I have the best hits of them all. <laughs> let's let's just get. This is a great way eat to get my back ass, eat my eat ass. My ass. Fuck! Just, I just realised that we left the fan on. That might pick up. Please ignore it. Please ignore, please. Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies for another classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? <laughs> well. You know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica are going to make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks and weed and... Weed? <laughs> weed? Weed and pizza. <laughs> Cassandra, what's a weed? <laughs> what is a weed? What is a pizza? <laughs> uh, sure, I'll, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Eat My Ass to go get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Mm. Aw, oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. That was just a suggestion. See if you can find a post. See if you can find poster paper too. Okay. Okay. Ready, my ass. Uh, yep. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I think it's finally going to happen. We're finally going to go to an empty classroom, and then you know what's going to happen. She'll ask for money. <laughs> She'll ask for money. Sayori and I exit the classroom. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips along the hallway. Honestly. <laughs> it's like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, hey Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do a poetry performance. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> a performance? A of what kind? Well... Everyone, everyone's gonna take turns on the stage and recite their favourite poems. Ah. That doesn't sound boring at all. <laughs> that sounds... Boring. Yeah, get Ari get Ariana Grande to come to the school. Get oh, explosions. <laughs> yeah. Explosions at the school. No, no. Literature <laughs> explosions. No explosions at the school, please. Eat my ass. I know there was a reason you invited me down here. <laughs> of course. You're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines in the poem, like, between my feet. <laughs> The last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the, fin the final joyous moments between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that. Jesus. Sayori. <laughs> How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Uh, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. I, I, I know, I know. It's just, I mean, it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm so excited! Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the festival is going to be so much fun! <laughs> Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. <laughs> she falls over. Ah! <laughs> ah. Oh, I <not> that fucking... 
<laughs> I might just do that, honestly. Hey, eat my ass. This classroom over here is empty. <laughs> Let's begin the mission. The mission start. Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> eat that ass. <laughs> the mission, huh? Oh, God. It's been a long time since I've spent any time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's now got a ball of sunshine drawing happy vibes from the world around her. Yes. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself in my room more and more. What does that mean? <laughs> so going adventuring with Sayori brings out a special sort of feeling I had forgotten me. I just seen the word ho oh, there and I was like, Hori. what? Holy, holy, holy. Two of us enter the classroom. <laughs> Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. <laughs> Let's see what we have in here. Crayons? <laughs> crayons? Crayola. <laughs> Sayori, pulls a Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. Oh, the best brand too. Brand that we can't say for legal reasons. <laughs> They're kind of dirty though. Oh, dirty crayons. Dirty crayons. That's a good band name. Uh, that, uh, dirty crayons <laughs> is a great band name. So he already starts pulling various crayons out of the box. Or an album the name. Col the color name, because it's an American spell. Aye. Nah. Reading the color names. Alright. Alright, that's one down. Oh, that, that was you. I thought that was me there first, sorry. We'll get distracted, we still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favourite colour. That's fine, fine. At least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, uh, I dropped one by accident. Ah! Was that a bullet? Jesus <laughs> fuck! That sounded like a bullet. Let me just add like a reloading sound to the beginning of that. <laughs> just Monica's is like, damn, I missed. <laughs> yeah. Sayori, just hold still, okay? <laughs> fuck. She falls to the floor and crayons spill all over her lap. Oh, wow, 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 wow. She like a Yoshi? Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? My forehead! You think a forehead would be like shielded for that fucking bang? <laughs> that but the eye, but Sorry, no. clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sayori. This is like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. <laughs> oh. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by her waist and pull her out of the closet. But you have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh bless her, look at her. Can I just like, let me see. Yeah, I can hate that, there we go. She looks all seared. Yeah, she looks all seared. Oh my god, there's 24 colours! <laughs> <laughs> triggered. <laughs> I don't know why you'd be triggered by that. But there because there's only like 8 crayons in the art. <laughs> Eight or nine. Why is there two like crayons that are practically the same colour here? Um, excuse me, that's yellow and that's lime green! <laughs> <laughs> what was that one in there? Gold. <laughs> That's not gold. Gold! That's yellow. Gold! <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> You're entitled to your wrong opinion. Fine. <laughs> so you already suddenly raises her hands from her forehead. Fine. You're like, no more. <laughs> Wrong. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow. Oh. Sorry. There's a huge red mark in the centre of her forehead. <laughs> a bump is starting to form as well. <laughs> Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find her some ice. Eat my ass. <laughs> now! <laughs> Re now! <laughs> I, where the fuck would I even get ice? I, mean, I guess a cold drink would do. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, Sayori makes a silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Don't die. <laughs> she dies. <laughs> she, just, <laughs> she just flops down. <laughs> she just looks for another room. Yay, bullseye! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run out of the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. Why is there no moo sack? Oh, what should I get? It doesn't really matter since it'll be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I buy that one. In just a moment, I'm already returning to classroom where I left Sayori. <laughs> She's still there in the same possession. There's, There's the one music. palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. Mm hmm. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spelt them. Uh, Sayori, here. <laughs> I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. I thought that was whiskey at first, but you know what? Nice bottle of moonshine. <laughs> moonshine. It's nice and cold. Just like me. <laughs> Just like my soul. <laughs> Sayori opens up the cap and starts drinking from it. 
I don't, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's whiskey. <laughs> We're in school. Uh, sorry, whiskey, I forgot. Whiskey, that vending machine, Jesus fucking. Oh my, can you imagine? Oh, oh fucking hell. Alky Central. Alky Central? <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? So you already placed the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Well, it's whiskey. It's, it's, <laughs> of course it was. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. It looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, eat my ass. <laughs> this kind of reminds you of how growing up... Uh, of growing up, doesn't it? Um, what do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try and keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind and had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things that I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It's almost like you blamed yourself and you were afraid of getting into trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time too. Hmm. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't get any... <laughs> you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Eat my ass. <laughs> Do it before I die. <laughs> I can see every equation. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Just pulls it up and she bangs her feet again. <laughs> I don't think you realise it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. D don't call me that. And I really don't do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Eat my ass! That name still gets me every fucking time. Oh god. I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. If you hear any noises in the background, please ignore that. <laughs> I'll fix that in post. Oh god, that's loud. <laughs> That is so loud. Why are you being so loud? Loud. Who's loud? <laughs> Do you think it will be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll each end up after college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair to me to make any promises. But... Well, you know, I, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? Can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. She said that she's dying. <laughs> she has a whimsical expression in her eyes. She remains silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Oh, good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hate it under my bangs. Bangs! <laughs> bangs! All I fucking wanted was fucking bangs! What the fuck? What the fuck? Sarah hops to her feet. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh no, she's dying. Okay. She clutches her forehead again. <laughs> Don't stand up so fast, never hurting yourself. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays with her bangs to try and have the bump with that much success. <laughs> In a moment we make it back to the club room. If we go, oh, the <laughs> like has been waiting for us. Ah, <laughs> you're back. As soon as you open the door, she's right in the... Ah, ah hi. <laughs> Good timing. I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Uh, Sayori, your forehead. Uh, she's fine. Don't worry about 
I was playing with the crayons and I smacked my forehead into the shelf. <sighs> Uh, well, <laughs> anyway. Well, <laughs> um, chill. Anyway, so, were you able to find anything we needed? Did, did we find a post uh, I don't think we did. Uh huh, I have it right. Uh, no, we oh. didn't. Sorry, frantically glances around herself. I forgot all of the stuff. Calm down, sorry. I have it all right here. Just found the poster paper too. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work at my ass. Ha 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 You know, I'd say alright. Ha ha! I'd fairly come up with an excuse for say alright. <laughs> I made it an adventure. Uh, you know, yeah, that. <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. Good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Oh, me too! <laughs> me too! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Buy them. Oh, I guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like this, like, plinky plonky music right here. Um, so... Who should we go with first? I would go with Sayori again. Follow yeah, us. since we spent most time with her, let's go ahead. Show her Sayori. first. Hey, bitch. <laughs> Eat my ass. <laughs> Of course, that's one of the first things she had to Woman is with. gagging for it. She's Jesus. gagging for it. Oh man, I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. No, I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. <laughs> Yesterday's and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I, I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, Joe. Eh? No way! Not even Natsuki? Not even Natsuki. No. Oh, I guess Natsuki's at least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Oh, well... I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean you're a really expressive person, I guess. Am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? You somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking? Like cooking. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So yeah, you know, I guess what I'm saying is I feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. I keep on doing this thing where like I end up accidentally reading your no, eyes. It's, it's, so it's all the same. Sorry. It'd be a lot easier if it was like different colours. No, I, I like that about the later. Yeah, uh, that was good. When uh, I I forgot that it was like different colours for the colors. for the different characters. We have that kind of weird connection. Speaking of which, since like I got a I got a pretty good ending in the letter. But I think at Halloween time, I would like to stream it. See if we can get the perfect The perfect ending, because one of the characters did get possessed and... Or which... maybe we will do ending where everyone dies. Or an ending where everyone... <laughs> you know what? That's fun too. I might consider that. But I would like to play the letter again for you all, for sure. Because that's a really fun visual novel. Um, da, did you... Yes. Yes. It's your fault for getting in my business all the damn time. <laughs> eh? I don't know if I understand. You never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> hey! I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Mm, maybe. Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, eat my ass! Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Why? Because... Well... It's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so, you, know, you completely misunderstood what I said. I didn't write this for you. Are you even listening anymore? Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Just take it. Look, I'll give it to you when we go home. Oh yeah, we need to give it to the others, right. don't we? Really? Oh. Just another... <laughs> Monica with another uh, shot. I broke my pencil! 
Sylvie so hastily bends down to pick up the pizza she dropped. But being inattentive of her, <laughs> being inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. S -s Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Oh bless. Sylvie so clutches the desk beside her to support herself, knees shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. Uh, how about we sit down, Siri? She has not half. Yeah. She did bang her fucking head. <laughs> She's concussed. She's concussed. I grab Sayori's arm and help her sit at the desk. Oh, bless her. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. I know that. Jeez, <laughs> 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 don't worry. I'm sure I like it. <laughs> oh, oh, that is long. Oh my fuck. That is long. Okay. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Bottles. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie. Oh my god. Okay. Um, it's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and plug one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my friends go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hidden in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps, doesn't feel like time elapses. My empty shelf could use some more, my friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up, and in come my friends, and they come. In such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tail between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in shards, all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something, but all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. I got a lot darker than the last one. Yeah, that seemed quite, quite sad, mm. honestly, yeah. If you try to make everybody happy, you'll end up making nobody happy. Yeah, that's true. Just kind of just, you know, just don't stretch yourself too thin, trying to, you know, be happy with everybody. And yeah. Again, there's, Trying to force yourself to be happy can lead you to get more sad. Like, it can actually make you rather upset. Like, having never force yourself to be happy because then it's no, it's no true happiness. It's just putting on an act. Yeah, that makes sense. That's interesting. Holy crap! So, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Uh, yeah, but. I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. And I see that. <laughs> it's almost kind of fucking creepy. Creepy? Not, not, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Uh, well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like, I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing is the best. I'm going to keep writing until I die. Sweet. Uh, lovely. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. So I was out of the habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. 
So we we've done twenty five minutes of recording so far. Yes. Um, maybe should we go for one more? Yes. Um, which one should we go for? Uh, do you want to get Natsuki out of the way just so like? Because I, I would I really want the next episode to be much more focused on you because I've done way too much goddamn job. No, you've not. It's fine. But well, fair enough. We've chosen Natsuki. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Gremlins back. <laughs> Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. Mm-hmm. I can't really see it's any better either. That's true. We're not mostly pandering to her, are we? So, of course, you'd be a little disappointed. Phew! <laughs> Phew! what? <laughs> well, the only thing that isn't a train wreck I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey! What, what makes you... <laughs> I, maybe that was a compliment. <laughs> God, is he so unrecognised my experience? <laughs> well then, keep practising and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. Uh, uh, something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh, you think so? Hmm? Yeah, I, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. <laughs> but you never really struck me as her type. Oh. So you has a... Oh, so you has a type all of a sudden. <laughs> well, then I don't fucking know, but honestly, we can simply say, well, Fluffy spends so much time with someone like you. <laughs> it's like she's dragging around the dead weight. Oh, wow. Oh, see, fuck it, that was a little unnecessary. Think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we'd take care of each other in our own way. What, whatever the fuck it is, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Oh, okay. Oh, she's actually wrote more this time. Yeah, that's oh, a no. lot more. <laughs> I'll let you go ahead. Um, 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 um. Amy likes spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Amy likes spiders. You know, I heard about Amy. Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favourite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. What? Spiders. <laughs> oh, what kind of poem is this? Well, obviously, I feel <coughs> like... The, like, the poem's probably not about actual spiders, is it? Well, like, it's like, again, and again, this is me being like a dick for like doing psychology and that, uh-huh. from a psychoanalytical piece. Yes. It is a very good thing of showing that uh, it's, it was an analogy, it's, I think it's like the one red the one red jelly bean analogy. Uh-huh. It's like the idea of like there could be an entire jar full of blue jelly beans. Mm-hmm. Oh, there can be an entire jar full of stones of your favourite colour. Yeah. But you've only noticed that. The one, if there's... If all of them are, like, your favourite colour, but only one of them is your least favourite colour, mm-hmm. you'll entirely put your focus on the one you don't like. Right. So the fact of, like, everything about the piece has said that this woman is... She has been attentive. She likes to sing. Nothing about her is negative at all. She mm-hmm. just seem, she seems like a nice person. Mm-hmm. However, she is chosen to focus on the one aspect that she despises in this person. Yes. So it's tunnel vision up. Right, okay. I see that. Fair enough. Because, yes, yeah, she does mention a lot of stuff yeah. that's, like, likeable about this person. And it's also person. a thing of, like, it's kind of a self-defeating prophecy. As you know, it says she has trouble making friends. Yeah. She is actively sabotaging her chance. This person has clearly tried to be nice to her, mm-hmm. but she has already decided that she doesn't like her. Yeah. It's not that she doesn't like her, it's that she has decided in her mind that she doesn't like her. Right, fair enough. That is very Natsuki, I feel. <laughs> sorry, I, I don't like talking about psychology stuff. You always end up sounding really pretentious. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I like it. <laughs> not bad, right? <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was made too short. 
<laughs> just like me. <laughs> okay. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. I mean, no, no of course not. I mean, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. <laughs> Fucking spiders. <laughs> spiders. I doubt I'll have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realise how stupid they're being. <laughs> like, anyone would agree with the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do, do you know people like that? <laughs> of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... It doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of people find out and make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. This is an anime addiction <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> I think people are ready to respect others for liking weird things. I mean, yeah, you're definitely right there. At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like being emotions is important. Yes. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that, or I'll fucking crack you. <laughs> I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Nice. We've gone on for far too long. And then she just scrambles into the fucking... <coughs> <coughs> oh, Christ. But yeah, we're definitely going to cut this here. But in the next episode, we're going to read um, Yuri and Monica's poems. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one. Spiders! <laughs> spiders! Roll the spiders! Roll the spiders! Roll the spiders!